I am Reverend Alice Wataka again, and I'm sharing about the ever-loving God. And we are having our texts from Luke chapter 15. We are reading from verse 11 to 24. Luke chapter 15, reading from verses 11 to 24. And I'm using NIV version. Jesus continued, There was a man who had two sons. The young one said to his father, Father, Give me my share of the estate. So he divided his property between them. Not long after that, the young son got together all he had. He set off for a distant country and there squandered his wealth in world living. After he had spent everything, there was a severe famine in that whole country and he began to be in need. So he went and hired himself out to a citizen of that country, who sent him to his fields to feed pigs. He longed to fill his stomach with the pods that the pigs were eating, but no one gave him anything. When he came to his senses, he said, How many of my father's hired men have food to spare, and here I am starving to death. I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired men. So he got up and went to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and he was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son. He threw his arms around him and kissed him. The son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fattened calf and kill it. Let us have a feast and celebrate. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and he is found. So they began to celebrate. Friends, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you so much for today. Thank you for being a God who loves us. Lord, we give you honor and glory for being concerned about our lives. We don't know more about our lives, oh God, but we know you know us more than we know ourselves. We give you honor and glory. Continue to speak to us, O oh God, and mold us into kind of the people that you want us to be. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Friends, I want to give glory to God. This is a passage that we have always read, but there is a way God speaks to us in different ways. And our theme today is the ever-loving God. When you read this passage, we see a young man asking for his property. And when his father gave him the share, he carried himself off with all that he had received. But the Bible says that for just within a shortest time possible, he squandered all that he had and he started to be in need. And he went and hired himself to someone in that country when there was a famine. And the Bible says that much as he had spent his time looking after someone who's pigs, he did not have enough to eat. So he decided to feed on the pots that the pigs were eating. But we are having a foundation in verse 17 and 18. Actually, these are our turning points. We see this young man coming to make a resolution. He came to realize that he had lost his true identity. And he comes to his senses, and he asks himself a question, and he says, how many of my father's hired servants have enough to eat and spare, and I'm here almost dying? I will rise and go back to my father, and I will tell him that I have sinned against heaven and against you. And this is what I'm now concentrating on. This man had a personal resolution. He says, I will go to my father. And actually, when he went back to his father, he repented. And the father was longing to receive him back. So as he was struggling to repent, the father was recognizing him as a true son in the home. And he said that I have sinned against heaven and against you. 
And don't call me to be one of the I'm not worthy to be called your son. But still the father was not ready to hear much about that. He was just ready to embrace him. Now friends, I'm looking at how God loves us. When we are striped naked, when we are confused, when we have no one to identify with, the Lord our Father is willing to receive us back, especially when we decide to come back to him, we say we are surrendering all our challenges to him. He is much more willing to forgive us. I have loved this young man his way of behavior. Even when he strayed away from home, he made a personal resolution. He came to his senses and he says, I want to go back to my father. Are we ready to realize that we are lost? And when you are lost, it is better you make a personal resolution of coming back to God. And God is so willing to receive us back. Can you see? The world can stripe us naked. And God is ready to dress us to cover our shame and nakedness. The world can squeeze everything good out of us. But the Lord our God is ready to satisfy us. Because in his presence there is joy. You can imagine when the young man came. The Lord also pronounced the arrival of his, the father pronounced the arrival of his son. In the same way when we sin against God and we realize that we have sinned and we walk back to his presence, the Lord is ready to celebrate. He says, bring a robe and address him. Bring a ring and put on his finger. That's a sign of authority. Bring sandals to put on his feet because that is a sign that you are a son but not a slave. So friends, I am praying that the Lord our God will receive us when we surrender our challenges to him. He is ready to celebrate with us. And actually he says that this son of mine in verse 20 from verse 22 up to 24. Verse 24 says, For this son of mine was dead and he is alive again. He was lost and he is found. So they began to celebrate. In the presence of God there is celebration. Don't be deceived that there is joy in outside Christ. Joy cannot be found outside Christ. And the Bible also tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 says that if anyone is joined to Christ, behold, the old has gone and the new has come. There is newness of life in the presence of the Lord. There is joy in the presence of the Lord. There is security in the presence of the Lord. There is provision in the presence of the Lord. Psalm 37 verse 4 says, Delight in the Lord and he will satisfy the desires of your heart. There is no satisfaction outside Christ's circle. And therefore, friends, are you lost? Have you come to your senses that you need a Savior who is Jesus Christ to introduce us back to God? Are you ready to be embraced? When the world has striped you naked, are you ready to be received? The devil embarrasses us, but the Lord embraces us. When we are wrecked, the Lord still receives us back. So this day, I am praying that each one of us will realize where you have gotten lost from. And as you pack your nakedness and you come back in the presence of the Lord, the Lord is very much more willing to receive us back. Friends, the world can challenge us. The world can confuse us. The world can convince us to do evil. But the Lord brings a sanity. In his presence, in his presence, there is a sanity. And there is celebration. There is joy. There is provision. There is each and everything that we need. Praise be to God. And I hope every one of us will love to go back to the ever-loving God. However much you have sinned, the Lord is much more willing to bring us back. And he is ready to celebrate our life. He restores lost souls. He restores broken hearts. May the good Lord continue to be with you. Thank you, friends. We meet again. May the good Lord continue to bless us as we think about that. Our God is ever-loving. And he welcomes you and me in his presence. God bless you.